Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this line drawing wireframe like text effects inside Microsoft Word. It comes from my free ebook uh, text effects in Microsoft Word. I will post the link in the description. You can see it takes around uh, four pages I believe or maybe six. It requires some clicking and manual work but it shouldn't take us too long to finish it. Okay so let's start with a blank document and before we do anything Let's talk about that, you know, annoying thing when you draw a shape. So imagine I draw a shape like this, then I zoom in a little bit, I want to draw another shape, so I select another shape, I draw a shape like this, then accidentally I click anywhere else and what it does is words automatically jumps to the first character or, or to the text which is uh, in the document, but in our case we don't have any text, we just have an empty space around here, so it jumps to left top corner it could be quite annoying. So what I usually do is I start with typing few tab characters all around the document. So when I accidentally click around anywhere in the document, it doesn't jump to the left top corner of the document, but it jumps to the nearest tab character, which is usually not too far away from the actual shape. Right now I do have those invisible characters visible, so I can see those tab characters, but I will hide those and we can start drawing. We will start with inserting a new text box, fairly big, and I may type go like this. The font that I will be using is Kempton Free. I will post the link in the description. So I will change this to Kempton and size maybe 150. I will make sure that the text box has no fill and no outline. I will probably make the font much lighter, some kind of light gray color, so it doesn't, it's not distracting. Seeing it now, I may change the size for, for it to be just a little bit bigger, maybe 200 points for the text. Okay, that should work. The next step is to zoom out, zoom in as much as we can, so we can see the individual layers. Select Insert, Shapes, Freeform Shape. And the next step is just to click around the letter G to make sure we don't go outside, but we kind of trace the shape of the of the letter, just like this. I will start with big and long lines, like this. Then I will maybe trace the outline a little bit, like this. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be a rough shape of the letter so we can somehow see the letter in there, letter G. And I will trace the inner shape of the letter G. And sooner or later, I will probably end up with the on the first point. Then I will right click select format shape, set the fill to be no fill because we don't want to have any fill. And for the line itself, we want to make the cap type to be either square or round. So we don't have those big spikes so I maybe change this to square to get rid of those spikes sorry bevel around and I may change the color to something different maybe violet I don't know I will repeat the same process for the letter O so I'll probably just pause the video and do this or maybe I will try to draw it very quickly. So again, select freeform shape, draw as long lines as we could, just to get some fill inside the shape, and then trace the outline. And with more time, you probably should be a little bit more precise, but just for the sake of keeping the tutorial as short as possible, I will make it quite random. Maybe I can try to connect every other point around here to give more details to the outline. I close the shape. I will change the again fill to be no fill, line to be solid line, but change the color and change the cap type and join type to square and 
battle. Okay, so all that's missing is the exclamation sign. That should be the easiest one. I will create the fill like this, or the fake fill like this. And I may probably use one more shape for the this letter. For both of them, I will again change the fill and outline. Probably not being very consistent here. I should stick with the same values. Okay, and the small circle, that should be the easiest part. I probably don't need that many lines. And that's it. The last step is to hide the text box so we don't see the original text box. We only see the, those lines and, and the wireframe like shape. You can see I have a lot of lines missing for the G letter, so I may still add a few more lines in there. I can either use the free form or I can simply use lines and draw those missing lines like here and down here. I can right click, set the outline color to be violet, and it also seems like that the width is different for my line, it should be one point. Okay, and that's it. This is probably the quickest tutorial ever. Maybe not. Anyway, thanks for watching.